the type of damage that a virus can do has a lot to do with where it hides. A boot sector virus hides in the boot sector program and it can replace the boot program with a modified infected version of boot command utilities which can cause boot and data retrieval problems. File viruses hide in an executable program like an EXE or a COM program and they spread whenever that program is accessed. Macro viruses hide in a word processing document that contains a macro. And the most common way that macro viruses are spread is by email. And then multipartite viruses are a combination of a boot sector virus and a file virus. Viruses are also categorized by the way that they try to hide. This is called a cloaking technique. And there are basically two different methods that a virus uses to hide. It either tries to change its signature or it attempts to mask the fact that it's present at all. So types of viruses categorized by their cloaking techniques are polymorphic viruses that are constantly changing their signature appearing to be something else. Encrypting viruses which attempt to hide behind other files so they won't be seen. And stealth viruses which attempt to make themselves invisible so that they won't be seen. The potential damage from a virus is called payload. And a virus payload ranges from very minor to major. It can be accomplished in a variety of ways and most viruses are relatively harmless. There are over 48,000 viruses at the date of this recording, but most are harmless. However, hours and opportunity cost count, so even a virus which is just an irritation costs somebody money. So viruses are definitely something that we need to learn how to avoid and how to get rid of if we get one. In order to understand how to avoid viruses, we need to know more about how viruses are spread. And we'll talk about that in our next section.